So for the past year or so, Nectar as a brand offered three different mattress models, the flagship Nectar, the Nectar Premier mattress, which is the more enhanced version of the flagship, and the Nectar Premier Copper, which is basically the top of the line bed from Nectar. But they recently introduced hybrid versions of all three beds, which we are gonna try to discuss and compare today. Hey guys, I'm JD with The Slumber Yard, and over here, we pretty much talk online beds and everything related to them. So if that sounds good to you and you enjoy this video along the way, click the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. But in this video, I'm gonna basically talk about the policies that these three Nectar beds, new Nectar beds are backed by. Then we're gonna talk about what they share in common. We'll talk about where they differ. We'll talk pricing. And at the very end, I'll talk about what you need to know about each one. Now, in case you need any more information about these new Nectar hybrid beds, go ahead and check down below in the description. We should have some helpful links for you down there to peruse. But now let's just talk about how Nectar hybrid compares to Nectar Premier hybrid and how those two beds compare to Nectar Premier copper hybrid. Geez, that's a lot of words. At the slumber yard, you know we work real hard to find the right bed for you and save you money on it. Okay, so first up, let's talk policies. So what exactly are you gonna be backed by in terms of shipping, returns, trial periods, and warranties with these new Nectar hybrid beds? Now, for the record, we did receive all three of these Nectar hybrid beds for free from Nectar to tell you guys about them. All three should ship to you with completely free bed in a box shipping. They'll likely arrive inside of a box that's around like four feet tall, compressed tightly in this plastic packaging. And all you gotta do is just drag that box in your home and unpackage the thing, which shouldn't take you any time at all, and it's super easy. Now, one once the beds are in your possession, you also get an entire year long trial period. So that's 365 nights to test the beds out at home to see if they're really gonna be right for you or not. And in the case that they're not for whatever reason, maybe the feel firmness or construction that you got is just a little bit off from what you anticipated, that's fine because they all come with completely free returns within that trial period. So if you do wanna return them, you just gotta call the brand up and schedule a time for someone to come out and remove the bed at no extra cost. But hopefully you do enjoy these Nectar Hybrid mattresses. I highly doubt a lot of people are going to be going the returns route. So in the case you want to keep them, they're all backed by a forever warranty, which is awesome. And we'll try to link some more details about all this policy stuff, including that warranty down below in the description box for you. Now with all the policy stuff out of the way, let's talk about the commonalities that all three share. So the main thing is obviously that they're hybrid beds, right? So they use pocketed coils instead of dense support foam for their primary support layers. If you didn't know already, pocketed coils are basically just individually siloed springs that are encased in fabric and they basically move independently from one another. So if you push down on one side of those coils, it's not gonna really affect the movement on the other. This factor helps increase the overall motion isolation of hybrid beds along with give them a little bit more breathability, airflow and bounce. And the main support advantage comes down to your body type. So if you're a heavier person like myself, you're probably gonna want a hybrid bed that uses springs instead of foam for support just because it's gonna allow for a lot more long-term durability for you. Now those coils Coils along the edges of all three hybrid beds from Nectar also feature more of a reinforced design along those edges. So they should have pretty dang good edge support when it comes down to it because those thicker gauge coils just provide a lot more sturdiness there. And all three also incorporate some antimicrobial elements in their covers to help keep them clean. They are not removable or machine washable as is the case for the all foam version. So if you do want something with a washable cover, you might wanna go the all foam route for these beds. Nectar also advertises these covers to be active cooling, we would say they're pretty much temperature neutral, pretty much based on our tests, but that may vary on a case by case basis for you guys. If you want the one that probably will offer you the most amount of cooling property, so to speak, you might wanna check out the Nectar Premier Copper Hybrid. That bed incorporates copper fabric within the cover and copper as a material has been known to help with temperature regulation. They all use a layer of gel memory foam on top for comfort, but that layer is gonna vary in thickness from mattress to mattress. And the Premier Hybrid beds now include a more responsive transitional layer that gives them a completely separate feel from that of the Nectar Hybrid mattress. It's called their Active Lift HD layer, and it's basically a more responsive transitional foam that's also supposed to help promote proper spinal alignment while you sleep. So both the Nectar Premier hybrid beds may also offer sleepers with a bit of a zone support advantage. Since both of the Nectar Premier hybrid beds now include this more responsive style of foam, it completely switched up their feel from a more dense, viscous memory foam feel that you'd expect these beds to be associated with. And we were really surprised by that over here at the Slumberyard. We were sure that upon hopping on these Nectar 
Factor Premier Hybrid Beds, we would find them to have that dense, viscous memory foam feel, but that's just not the case. We found them to have more of a responsive memory foam feel, or maybe even more of a general neutral foam feel. You'll still probably get a slight sink-in sensation from their memory foam layers on top, especially if you're moving around a lot at night, but the Active Lift HD layers combined with those pocketed coils just make them feel more neutral than anything else. We think they just feel like generally accommodating coil beds, which is pretty nice, and that makes it a pretty good option for someone who's maybe not the biggest fan of memory foam, but still wants to check out a Nectar. For those types of sleepers out there, we do think that you're gonna find these Nectar Premier hybrid beds to be really comfy. Now, in terms of the Nectar hybrid mattress, this bed does exhibit more of that traditional dense, viscous memory foam feel that we've come to know and love from Nectar. Just like the all foam version, you should slowly sink into this mattress as that top layer of memory foam softens up and conforms to your body as you rest at night. A lot of people love this type of feel. Memory foam lovers out there kind of crave this type of mattress feel. Other people out there don't really enjoy it because they find it too restrictive, but that's essentially what you're getting with the Nectar Hybrid. Now, firmness wise, all three of the Nectar Hybrid beds are gonna be pretty different from each other, but they're relatively along the same lines as their all foam counterparts. So the Nectar Hybrid bed is same as the original Nectar mattress, the all foam. It's right around a medium firm on our scale. So it should work just fine for all sleeper types, but it's probably gonna be best for strict back and stomach sleepers. The Nectar Premier Hybrid is also like its all foam version at right around a medium on our scale. So it should work out great for all sleeper types. Whether you like to sleep on your back, your side, your stomach, or a combination of all three, you should be set with this one. And the Nectar Premier Copper Hybrid sits right in the middle of those two firmness profiles, right in between a medium and a medium firm, we would say. So it should work just fine for all sleeper types with a slight support advantage for back and stomach sleepers. Now keep in mind, take all this firmness stuff with a grain of salt because firmness is an altogether subjective thing that usually depends on how much you weigh. So heavier people usually find beds to be softer than they really are, while more petite individuals find them to be firmer. But for the average Joe, we would say you're looking at right around these lines of the firmnesses that I just went over. Now let's talk about pricing. How much are you gonna be shelling out for these Nectar hybrid beds? The Nectar hybrid, the Nectar Premier hybrid, and the Nectar Premier copper hybrid. I do wanna preface this section right up top just by saying that pricing and promotions within the online space do change often. So if they're a little bit different as when you're watching this video, I apologize, but they should be up to date down below in our description box of this video. So check down there. So right now you can expect to pay around the $900 range for the Nectar Hybrid mattress after discount. So that's probably gonna be their most affordable hybrid bed. Then you have their Nectar Premier Hybrid at right around $1,300 after discount for the queen size. So right in the middle of their price tier. And since the Nectar Premier Copper Hybrid is now their top of the line bed. You're obviously gonna be paying the biggest premium for that model. You're gonna be looking around the $1,700 range for the queen size after discount. But Nectar as a brand is usually really good with the discounts and promotions that they run on their beds. And they're also really good with the things that they bundle into their mattress purchases. So again, check that description box for all the current pricing, promotions, and discounts that we can find for these new Nectar hybrid beds. And by using those codes down there, you're also helping to support our channel, which we really appreciate. But that is pretty much gonna sum it up for this triple comparison between the Nectar Hybrid, the Nectar Premier Hybrid, and the Nectar Premier Copper Hybrid. These bed names just keep getting longer and longer, but we're sticking with it over here at the Slumber Yard. Out of breath. But no matter which way you go in this lineup, you're getting a quality memory foam hybrid mattress with a lot to offer, but the question remains, Who's right for which? Well, over here at the Slumber Yard, we'd say check out the Nectar Hybrid if you want a supportive hybrid bed with a dense memory foam feel that's around a medium firm and you want the most bang for your buck within the Nectar Hybrid bed lineup. And then look into the Nectar Hybrid Premier beds if you want a more premium hybrid offering from the brand, you want something a little bit softer than that medium firm, and you also want something that feels a little bit more neutral overall. But hey, that's just our take on it. What is yours? What do you think of these new Nectar Hybrid beds? Do you like them, love them, or hate them. In any case, whatever your opinion is, write us down below in the comments and let us know. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop us a like and subscribe to the channel for so much more. You know, over here at the Slumber Yard, we are trying to produce the highest quality content to help you with your mattress search. So if you appreciate it, show us some love. And if you need any more information, check that description box, guys. We should have full written reviews down there, other comparisons, discounts to help save you some money on these new Nectar beds. But that's pretty much gonna do it for this one, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and I helped you out towards your online mattress search. I'm JD from the Slumberyard, and like always, sleep right, sleep tight, and we'll see you next time.